I look at addiction as any behavior you continue to do, despite the fact that it brings negative consequences into your life. So this includes what I call the big six. That's drugs and alcohol, of course, food addictions, people addictions, codependency and sex addiction, and then of course the money addictions, and then the big six, addiction to technology, which we see people spending too much time with their machines and being disconnected from their life. The big six is also followed by the four aggravations, negative thinking, self-doubt, procrastination, and resentment. In order to move beyond the big six, and especially to deal with the four aggravations that everyone is dealing with, we have to have teachers, guides, mentors. I've spent a lot of time going across the world and talking to people about addiction and their recovery. Each country has its own idiosyncrasies, its own way of approaching this very difficult issue. The thing that transcends all of it is that it turns out we actually need each other to recover. One of the things that I talk to people a lot about is this need for community and this need for a pathway to the heart. If you have a spiritual path and a community of people to support you as you walk along that path, you've got a great opportunity to move forward in your life out of the darkness of addiction and into long-term recovery. Most people think about recovery as, well, I've got to survive addiction. And my most sincere rallying cry for anybody is don't just survive addiction, thrive in your life. Come join us at Recovery 2.0. I cannot wait to see you there.